This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Comic Con on behalf of Becca Holburn's Art Process blog and YouTube channel. If you could introduce yourselves, please. I'm Chris. And I'm Annie P. Okay, and what brings you lovely ladies to Comic Con this year? Uh, Trying to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris actually found Comic Con. Yeah, I didn't so know I about saw it. the post on uh, Artist Network International uh, sure. Facebook page, and so I applied. And then. Um, we got we got waitlisted, and but then we made it in. So yay! Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's a story of you know, and we've had probably one of our best conventions yet. So awesome. yes, at definitely. This convention, and so it just I guess one thing is like even if you're waitlisted, just don't hold out hope. Pan yeah, yeah pan don't panic because it could be for any reason. Yeah, sure. it's not. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your art. And, <laughs> yeah. If you are waitlisted, you know just. Uh, ask them what can I do better next year you know how can I improve my portfolio Definitely. that's what yeah. I usually do so Comic Con is a um, judged artist alley yes, correct it is. yes so what was your experience with that is this your first um, juried artist alley this is, this is my second one and this is my third Okay, yeah. Right. So, um, and this is your first year at Comic Con, of course. Yes, so. this is our first year. <laughs> uh, so, did you do some research beforehand to see, like, would your stuff fit in here, or you just kind of decided to throw uh, everything against the wall and see what happened? Yeah, mine was like, <laughs> oh, Birmingham's two hours away. I can drive there. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. it was really just a we'll see what happens sort of thing. Yeah. Basically. I had my portfolio set up for AWA, which is Anime Week in Atlanta. Sure. So, I had it which all set up. A little bit bigger than this. Yeah, so. a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I had it set up for that. And um, I mean, I I fixed it since then to be more clean but yeah it, it seems to be a pretty universal nice portfolio for things okay <laughs> and you just decided to table together or you guys have a studio together it's, yeah we just decided I wanted to split the cost for this one since sure. I was unsure about it and so I asked her you want to table with me sure go ahead and I mean, we didn't. I didn't even realize that our stuff would look so good together. It was kind of yeah. just like, oh well, yeah. And then our stuff also matches, so yeah. that yeah. extra worked out. <laughs> so has that actually been a problem where people come up and they don't know whose uh, stuff is what, or they they don't really care who made what and they just yeah. want to buy things? They don't care. They're like, it's cute, it's colorful, I love it. Give it to me, please. But they can <laughs> tell there are two separate artists, yeah, though, which okay. is cool. But we made we made sure we split our portfolio or our stuff to look <laughs> really different even the flowers above are different types of flowers okay. to kind of give like even more of a difference yeah so, that's so you put some thought into your table basically and yeah. it paid off definitely yeah definitely there was a lot of thought and planning and how can we yeah. make it look so like we're obviously two separate artists yeah. so people because people like to know like you know they don't I, I think people don't like it when stuff is mixed a lot and right. they can't tell who drew it because then it's like oh uh, it almost feels like you're part of the dealer's room even though i mean yeah. you're obviously an independent artist it's just everything gets mixed in so yeah yeah um so uh, you said you got waitlisted um did you go ahead and continue planning as though you were going to come to the convention or did you just put things on hold until you got we, the official yeah, i put things on hold i kind <laughs> of i was already working to make stuff for momocon Okay. Which is another so big convention. So it's a similar sort of merchandise. Yes. Yeah. So it's um, I like to keep my merchandise from cons. I, I keep it me and keep it what I like. Yeah. So I don't really have to change it too much. But yeah. if you if you do what you like, then he, there's yeah. always a, a niche sort of buyer that's going to be there. I feel like I kind of did the opposite. It was like I felt like I didn't get in, and then then they if we did get in I was like holy crap I don't have enough stuff <laughs> there was like yeah. this crunch time to like get some new Produce prints down and, and yeah. I, I managed to do it like all of my alien girls are new for this con and I kind of okay. made it I was like what would I like to see and then I made a bunch of stuff <laughs> definitely and um I did a lot of stuff from video games I always like and this is the first time where my video game stuff has actually really sold well yeah so so yeah, I've yeah, heard people, that. we're right behind you, so yeah. I've heard people talking about it um, throughout the convention. So, so yeah, that's the, fantastic. the video game stuff does well at Comic Con. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's one thing. But it is so like you, a, would, you would advise artists who have video game influenced artwork I, I to would. consider yeah. tabling here? I would. And okay. you know, um, just also have, don't do like, don't force games and don't force things like you don't like. 
Like, yeah. if you don't like video games, find something else that might work here, like Marvel superheroes or... Yeah, I know, it's like, it's like comic book I don't know anything about video games, but, like, yeah, she has I like the DC stuff, like the Marvel and DC stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, and her, th that stuff's been selling great for her. Yeah. And also, you know, bright and colorful, and just, I guess, um, but yeah... Don't force something out because it won't probably turn out as well as you want it to. Yeah, yeah. that's a much more dealer sort of mentality of this is popular right now, so let me produce as many yeah. products as I can for it. And Actually, uh, like well, it. yeah, and sometimes when it's the popular stuff, everybody has some and you have a lot of yeah. competition. Yeah. I mean, nobody has She-Hulk stuff. I am the, the only one who ever seems to have She-Hulk stuff, so it always sells really well. Yeah. But again, it's something I did it because I was passionate about She-Hulk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and you're also taking commissions, so just putting up a, a variety of, of things, oh, yeah. but also having like, this is the type of media I usually do inspires people to say, well, I see you don't have this, but could, I, could you make it for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I like this style, but I want my own thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, people also at Comic Con have been so nice, and they've been um, the staff or the amazing. Ev everyone, yeah. everyone, the staff too. They've been so um, attentive. Like some conventions, they won't even. They'll, it's like you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> but um, oh, you need another chair? Oh, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. I guess Sorry there's still that. one from somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they um usually it here it's been so great and such kind staff they've been up to us every day and like every few hours like how are you doing are you doing are you selling this and that and are you selling okay and everything's going good and they've just been so great sure um so uh, i know you said you didn't do a whole lot of research into like uh, what types of things uh people <laughs> at comic con would like but did it for uh, the table display is very nice and it fits in well at the conventions. A lot of people with uh, mesh cubes and that sort of thing. Um, is this just something that you've uh, done for the majority of the conventions you've been to, or did you say, okay, I know I need to have this type of table set up in order to uh, just fit in at the yeah. convention? Well, no. Well, I know um, from my last experience at AWA, I didn't have the height of this one. I yeah, knew I needed to get. Height is so important. You have With to get it up. With a medium to large con is yeah, a very big deal. Yeah. 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 But uh, what I didn't like is are the artist booths where the artist sits and it's very closed off. You know, it, sometimes you can't. They, a like, little space where you they can talk to him and it's like no right. I want to be able to stand up and talk to people I've literally so, seen print walls where yeah. it's just a tiny like cut out guy. hole where you can and, talk uh, it's like a drive through window <laughs> we've been calling um, it the troll hole yeah the like, troll hole yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad you didn't do that yeah, even, if, yeah. even if you had two holes it's yeah, still I, I, way too much pay at the first window and you can pick up <laughs> <laughs> like a drive through but I think the the main setup for this is it looks nice it's pretty and it's just something that we like it's not necessarily like and it's like a pretty like generic like I, not generic but it can fit in in a lot of places yeah because it, it, right. it will pop out but it'll fit in <laughs> I understand yeah you but, have a distinct style yeah but um no one is gonna <laughs> walk by your booth because it doesn't look interesting yeah okay <laughs> And um, usually I change my my flowers and stuff with the seasons. So right now is the spring flowers. So oh, that's that fantastic. Anyone out? <laughs> uh, so can you tell me a little bit about your work? Uh, what got you started? How long have you been um, coming to conventions and making art and that sort of thing? Well, I've been coming to conventions for forever since I'm I'm 20 now. But when I was um, 13, 12, 13 is when I started coming to conventions, and I would cosplay. And I remember always wanting to be the artist. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to get there. You had a lot of respect for the people behind the booth. Yes, and, I yeah. always have, and I've always like I've loved buying their work. They, I just always wanted to be them. You know. Yeah. And I'm finally here. But um, after years of that, um, I decided I need. Hey, I think my art's finally good enough. Like you know. I'm sure, like, everyone else, sorry. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> um, but I felt like my art was um, finally good enough, you know, for me to sell. And it, it took, like, a lot of work. And it, it's different for everybody. Sure. But for me, it was just like, am I happy with other people hanging this in their house? <laughs> that was my thing. And um, basically, after that, um, I decided to go for it. And... I, here I am, and it's been going great for me. Okay, and Chris? Uh, I guess this is only my second con, so um, kind of just working off Annie's experience, really. Right. And, you know, I 
got the idea to start doing it. I saw a lot of people on uh, Tumblr that I liked. They were like, we're going to this artist alley or that artist alley. And I was like, you know, maybe I can do that to kind of get my art out there and get my work out there because, you know, it's not always easy to find new people on social media. You know, you, a lot of times you, you have to do the in-person work. So. Yeah, and actually meet people at. The yeah, cons. yeah. <laughs> sure. I was like, yeah, just putting my stuff like out into the ether that was not helping me at all. <laughs> well, there's there's a lot of people that you're competing with. So oh yeah. That, that's understandable, uh, and certainly, I mean, a good way to look at it is how can how can I help other people and at the same time mm -hmm. put get my foot into the door. Yeah, um, exactly. So, would you have any advice to an artist who's considering tabling at uh, the convention for the first time? Um. Uh, you don't have to have as like much stuff as we ended up having, but sure. you do need to get your work up so people right. can see it. Because my first table, I didn't have the height, and then I ended up being next to like a huge table, and yeah. they just nobody could see anything. So just at least get you mean a, from a distance, or they would literally just they, walk table, right past it. Were, the line at their table was so big it creeped into my area. Oh wow! So people walking past behind them couldn't see it at all. So. Yeah, so you almost seem like an assistant at the know, table I'm next like to you or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's sad, but yeah, unfortunately that, that, that happens at yeah. conventions. But yeah, so this time we got, you know, up, get up and out there. And, but, and yeah. maybe even if you can share a booth so you can like share the price of things. That's really yeah, helped out a lot. Definitely if it's your first time, it helps yeah. uh, to share a table. And also, I mean, like you were saying, if you don't have enough stuff yourself, you can... Uh, fill out with someone else who does oh, yeah. and just make sure you draw enough attention to your things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we've been getting pretty equal amounts of sales. Of customers and stuff interested here. in yeah, both your products. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if you do table with somebody, maybe somebody who compliments your yeah, style. Because that's what we've of been course. getting a lot. Your work really compliments each other. Yeah. So okay. that's one thing. <laughs> so, yeah, just in, get, get your guess, stuff up. Don't yeah. have don't have a troll hole. Yeah. <laughs> And right, another and thing is, like, it, it seems like, I'm sorry for, like, saying it again, but, like, doing things you like, not what's popular, but because if you do something, like, that's popular, you could get eaten alive at a convention. If, you're, if your taste yeah. feels like just all something like One Punch Man or something like that, mm -hmm. or just all Undertale or something, or, you know. Um, gotta, also, gotta be careful with copyright stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Keep an eye out for that. Figure out which trainer you Disney can things. have. You can, you have. can have. That is very important. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and also like, um, be, and have fun. Don't be stressing out. I stress out. Well, you're I gonna really stress out. You're, you're gonna, gonna stress be prepared. out. Be prepared. Be prepared. I, I can't lie. Don't stress. I, you I, will stress. I, I lie. <laughs> don't like, yeah. just, you know. But keep yourself healthy, healthy, because I've gotten very sick before. <laughs> And um, <laughs> where can we find your work online? So my work is uh, chrisbranick.com. So K-R-I-S-B-R-A-N-N-O-C-K.com. Okay. And <laughs> yes. I am Annie P. Not Annie Pie. <laughs> Maybe you should have been Annie Pie. Annie P, uh, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> um, but you can find me. I'm most active right now on Twitter. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I hope you have a good convention. All right, thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>